What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I definitely have a lot of people asking me about one thing, um, and it's not specifically just one thing. There's a lot of other stuff that they are asking me about, but I do see this quite a bit. Um, a while ago, about three months ago, I had a proposal pass on uh, Terra Station to add the ability to buy and, uh, and deposit Lunic and USDC um, directly on Terra Station. Basically adding a buy button and a sell button. And um, that was not, it was not coding behind it to say this is how this is gonna be done. There was not a, a pool that was created in order to have that be built out. Um, but we know that this is a way to add a ton of volume to the overall chain. Um, and we need it. It's definitely necessary to see volume directly on the chain. And people would rather do that because if they want to stake, they would just buy directly on that platform and then stake. So they're doing that in general when they do that on Binance. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to kind of address this because I wanted to say where we are because it has been three months and people are like, where is the buy button? I know you put this this out here and I know you don't really have control on what does happen there because you know, you didn't put any coding behind it. Um, and you also don't really have um, all of the knowledge as to how this um, effectively gets done um, within our community. I know how it could be done, um, but we can't necessarily take it to that route to where we have our own liquidity pool and build up our own amount of coins because it would cost a lot of money in order to do so. And we're already building up coins to pay people. So trying to build up coins for other things is just not going to work. So um, anyways, how is this being done? Is it coming? And um, what communications do you have right now? And what's the reason for the long pause? Because three months ago, you basically said it was uh, pretty much um, ready and there was a team behind it that was looking to build it. So I'm definitely gonna address all of this in this video because I wanna make sure I'm as transparent as possible. Um, but there's some things that I don't know because they are um, the ones making the the changes and reaching out to certain people. I'm the one just kind of, um, you know, the middleman to communicate it to you guys. So anyways, hit the like button guys, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, Patreon, uh, follow any of my other YouTube channels. Those links are down in the description as well. Um, now, this is definitely a big topic. The reason why it's a big topic is because, again, in my last video, I mentioned the DEX volume, but that's definitely something we need to keep mentioning. The DEX volume is very low. We need to see more volume on chain. And when we could see more volume on chain, we see more burns. We see more uh, build of utility because now people can buy directly on Terra Station or on chain to um have it within their wallets <clears throat> and then when it is within their wallets they can buy whatever they want nfts gaming um i don't comic books i don't know what you want to buy with it but you can buy things that do um allow you to pay with lunic basically um so seeing this dex volume which is right below my head you're going to see it right here one hundred seventy nine thousand dollars versus the 76 million dollars through cex volume we need to have a uh, a little bit of a shift, right? Adding probably a million, maybe even getting up to a level of about 10%. So 7.6 million would be great um, in DEX volume, but we need to see the ability to buy on that platform. Um, and if we can have a, the ability to buy on Terra Station, then it would be great. Now, if you are not familiar with my proposal, <clears throat> this, was my, this was my proposal. We all discuss utility, um, uh, bringing back, bringing utility back to the chain, and that would be great uh, to bring all old utility back to uh, the classic chain. However, there is new utility that is already being added uh, to the chain in the form of NFTs or gaming. Um, there are a few future utility projects such as Lunatics Token potentially bridging over to the classic chain, which uh, still is in the process. Uh, currently, doing any. Um, Wait, currently doing any business on chain requires a middleman CEXs uh, to deposit slash buy. <clears throat> my voice just went out. Sorry, my voice has been uh, a struggle lately. <clears throat> uh, deposit slash buy your Lunic. It would make everything 10 times easier to just buy their Lunic directly on Terra Station to stake, uh, buy NFTs, buy other coins <clears throat> on, the, on, the, on the chain, um, etc. 
Um, I propose that we add the ability to buy Lunic directly on Terra Station or from Terra Station um, using a third party payment platform such as MoonPay, Transact, or even PayPal. Um, I'm pretty sure that we would have to allocate coins to an LP wallet to fund the transactions, but no matter uh, how it gets done, <clears throat> this helps transactions on chain uh, to be a lot easier um, and happen more frequently, thus increasing the burns. Uh, once this is passed, then uh, we can figure out the logistics and, um, of getting this all to work. Um, this should be step one in increasing on-chain volume for Lunic and USTC. Now, here you're going to see that it says it's not passing. Understand that we did add more validators, so by the percentage of total validators, it still updates that, but it did pass, as you can see here past majority of people didn't understand how it was going to be done and knew it was going to be a difficult process and were abstained so you saw um you know one of the biggest ones you know all nodes with 19 percent that said you know they were abstained <clears throat> um but either way it goes towards the yes vote since there's barely any no votes so anyways um where are we at with the buy button right um, in the beginning stages, we were where we were supposed to be, and um, you know, CoinIn was supposed to be leading the way with this, and I think they still are. There was just an issue, right? And the biggest issue that we had was one: the leadership, the lack of leadership, and understanding who's leading what for Terra uh, Rebels, and trying to reach out to them to kind of break this all down and how it would work, and for them not to have a a contact to really go to that's really in the form of leadership and how we're changing the dynamic of um, uh, Terra Luna Classic at the top, right? Um, or the classic chain at the top was definitely an issue. So with the launch of Rebel Station and not knowing if Terra Station was going to be around, definitely was something that put this all on pause. But now that we understand that Terra Station will be here, right? we should have sort of a little bit of an explanation. So I decided to reach out to CoinIn to see where their head is, um, what they're going to do, what the plan is, and if they, if that was the thing that really stopped them was the fact that we had Rebel Station, we now have sort of new leadership, I would call them uh, leaders and uh, you know uh, people that can create paths on where we're going. <clears throat> and I think um, adding a buy button, sorry, I just spit, I think adding a buy button um, is definitely something that would increase volume. We just have to break down exactly how it's going to be done because things have changed a little bit, you know, and not a little bit, a lot, a bit in the last three months. So is it coming? I do believe it is coming. I'm going to continue to reach out to them and see what they can do because they're the only ones doing anything about it. And I think this would benefit us um, in such a big way. Um, you know, seeing how much volume goes through things like MetaMask and, you know, going through MoonPay, I understand you're paying certain transactions in order to do that. And then to add on a fee would be ridiculous. So from what I understand, they were going to use, um, you know, liquidity from other CEXs in order to uh, fund this. So it would go directly on chain. Um, they'd be able to buy directly on chain there using that liquidity, using those those funds that are there. Now, um, I don't have an exact explanation as to um, how that looks, but it should look standard for us to where we're buying Terra Luna Classic and it goes into our wallet and we're actually holding that Terra Luna Classic with the 0.2% burn that goes through it as well. So anyways, um, that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to continue to, uh, you know, reach out to coin in, uh, continue to reach out to a lot of people that may have more information on how this fully gets done. And, um, if it even can get done, I believe it can, but you know, there's always a chance that something can get done. So anyways, guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Let me know what you think about the buy button. Obviously it has to be good for the overall chain to add volume because $176,000 is not enough. We know that that's not enough to burn. And if we're only seeing 0.2% of that, you know, we're not seeing it's just not enough, right? I, I don't know how else to um, classify it. But anyways, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, and I'll catch you in the next video.